Hey, this is this video right here is a response to Boy Blue. Yo, homie, I completely hear what you're saying, man. Cause um, <clears throat> fuck, hold on. It's fucking cold in here. It's fucking freezing in here. Ugh. Brr. All right. So, anyways, um, my videos. That's what I get for walking away from the computer. My video is a response to Blue about how I feel about the state the family's in. So. Tell you what, I am a firm believer in Juggalo family. I am there for any Juggalo that ever needs my help if, you know, I mean, fucking A. There have been times where close friends of mine who's Juggalos, like, I have a lot of fucking friends who are homeless who are Juggalos. Whenever I had money, I used to take them out to McDonald's, whatever, you know, that way they could actually get some food and shit like that. That's shit I won't do for most anybody. I fucking love my family. I really do. And it hurts me to see the state that the family is in. Because it's essentially falling apart. It really and truly is. Mainly because these fucking ninjas that are coming in, fucking, they don't get it. They don't understand. I mean, all of us who are older or most of us at least who are older and more mature understand the whole point behind Juggalo family and we fucking we honor that we look out for each other we fucking we're all for the fam you know but then again you know I've heard some pretty pretty bad horror stories about sometimes shit that goes on at fucking shows, you know? Um, I ha like I've said, I don't know if I've said this before, I haven't actually been to a psychopathic show. Yeah, I know, I'm deprived. I just never have the money by the time there's a psychopathic show around the area. I don't have the money to go, which sucks. Either way. But my friends have went to shows and they've come back and I've heard fucking horror stories like fucking um fuck like one time my friends were at a lotus show in June of this year they were at a motherfucking lotus show and they were having fun, jamming out, fucking everything there. Like, I mean, especially at Worcester. Like, the, the, the shows at Worcester Mass are fucking crazy at the Palladium. Hell fucking yeah. It's fucking sick. Or at least so I've heard. I mean, they talk about Worcester shows in Detroit. That, that tells you how fucking, how good they are. Either way, they were jamming out, enjoying the fucking concert, whatnot. And then the song, all y'all know it, if you don't, then you live under a rock. The song Juggalo Family. They start singing Juggalo Family. And everybody's fucking jamming out to the song. Then my friends, Carrie and Jameson, they see over on the side where the fucking, over on the side where the walkway is, they see these two kids beating up another kid. This other kid is refusing to swing back. He will not swing back. But he's getting his ass kicked. Obviously, the two guys that were beating up on him got kicked out. But, like, that's, that's sad. Because if you think about the fact that they were doing this during Juggalo Family. Like, the song that's all about fam and everybody that's at that show, you know? It... I'm sorry, but when you're at any kind of psychopathic event, there are no differences. Everybody is 
there for the same reason. You are all the same. There ain't nobody that should have been beaten up on anybody else. Nobody there was trying to help the kid that was getting beat up. Fucking Jameson went over to the kid after fucking the other two got kicked out. Jameson went over to the kid, brought him into the crowd in between fucking Jameson and Carrie. The kid, even though he fucking was beat up, fucking black eye, fucking swollen lip, even though he was beat up, he's still fucking jamming the Juggalo family. They're all like, all freaking three of them, arms around each other, just swaying back and forth. The song. I wish I was there to see that. That would have been fucking ill. Holy crap, it's cold. That would have been fucking ill. And then, there was another time my friend Jameson told me about, because he's been to a lot of shows. There was another time my friend told me about where he and another friend of his was at a show. Um, this was after the show. Um, everybody was coming out of the fucking Palladium. And I guess there was like a group of haters who was outside of the stadium, just waiting, and when everybody was filing out, this group of haters picked out two, two fucking kids coming out of the show, and then started fucking, they jumped them, they jumped them and started fucking beating the shit out of them, nobody else was helping, people, fucking family, family was walking by not doing shit what the fuck man I hate this state that the family has been in it's I mean I am all for family and all the juggalos and juggalettes I know are all about the fam. But there's just some people out there that are only in it for the music. And to me, those people that are only in it for the music, they're fa they're just fucking ICP fans. They're not juggalos. They're psychopathic fans. You could call them ninjas if you want, even. But they're not fam. They're not family. Because I'm sorry, but... The whole idea of Juggalos revolves around family. And, you know, other things too, but that's kind of like the main, that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. Juggalos was, it was like, you don't fit into any other clique. I think I said this in, in another video. You don't, you don't fit anywhere else. You're the outcast. You don't fit into any other clique. You don't have any other friends. Juggalo was a play, was like, you, you know what, you don't fit in anywhere else, you're welcome here, you know? And a bond kind of grew from that. And it turned into the fucking family. And that's what it's all about to me. And it hurts, it hurts my heart, hurts me here to see what's happened to the fam. Man, but yeah. <clears throat> I guess I made my point. Much wicked clown love. Peace out, boy blue, and all the other fam watching my video. Freaks out.